Thank you. Um, I, I think gr great content, you know, just adding from that, the cultural transformation. And um, so I work in a, a data and tech group, and we call ourselves actually the client engagement and data strategy group. Um, and, and the key component of influencing human behavior to transform businesses to be more data-driven decision makers and removing the, the, the gut feel and the emotion out of um, decisions as to who should we be targeting, what is the right audience, and, and what, is the, what is the right allocation of budgets towards um, different messages and different audience segments um, is absolutely key. Um, I have a whole bunch of questions here uh, from the audience, uh, probably more than we can cover at all. Um, but I want to start off with the first question, um, uh, which is more about the uh, GDPR, really the concept of data quality and, and data privacy. And so in a world where you have to ethically source the data, how has that impacted uh, the measurement that you see or do in, in, in the attribution space? Whoever wants to go first, it's good. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm happy to, to give a perspective on, on GDPR, and we've all been through, I mean, especially, I mean, coming from Germany, this has been a big thing last May. <laughs> a lot of discussions. I think a lot of people made a lot of money last year on GDPR. My perspective, it, it does not really change um, what we're talking about here, and it will not be a huge inhibitor of that. And I can also give you evidence for that. I was just um, at the Online Marketing Rockstars last week, um, where we co co-presented on this topic with um, the CMO from Optus. It's a, like the second telco in Australia where they implemented this in a GDPR compliant way. So uh, yes, it was a lot of uh, work, a lot of discussions with privacy and legal officers in the company. I mean, also in the telco environment, um, many of you know that this is not an easy topic, um, but you can do that. You have kind of the safe harbor concept. You talk about granular data, but never about PII on the, con on the modeling side. So uh, let's not have GDPR as kind of a barrier that keeps us from a kind of better measurement world. Add on to that. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, I would, I, would, I would add to that that I think it had a big impact. <laughs> uh, more from a U.S. perspective, what happened there, because some of the practices prior to GDPR really coming in um, weren't necessarily the right ones. Um, it, it is great to see that, particularly in markets like Germany, where things ha had been, there was more data privacy around for a long time, um, that innovation has come out there. Um, we have our Axiom unit uh, that has spoken at, at many occasions now at this conference um, where we do have Privacy Shield and, and help clients sift through um, all the um, challenges with regulation. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite hopeful that overall like, it, it can continue. I've seen many articles where people say, oh, attribution is dead, and uh, I don't believe so. Uh, I think it's alive and kicking. Um, wanted to switch to... Um, Another question that's come up, um, particularly um, on the MSIN side, um, is the question, so is there a budget optimization tool that is attached to the holistic view? And um, is it multi-dimensional, multi-scale, and how do you handle it? Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, there is a um, budget optimization tool. It's um, There has already been a budget optimization tool at the exec tech tool, which only um, Cons or has a focus on the um, online attribution and what we do with the integration of the digital marketing mix modeling is we also integrate all we know about the um, media. So we, all, we, we integrate diminishing returns, we integrate ad stocks, we integrate to create um, time delays and so on. And um, so we, we just combine um, both methods and uh, get an integrated budget optimization tool in the end. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll combine some of some questions that, that kind of came together, and it might be an interesting um, way to, to then put that as the last one for your comments. Um, so one question was, well, what about baseline? And, and I think another question is, like, is, isn't it true that most conversions aren't driven by media at all? Um, prior brand experiences, friend recommendations, other non-media factors, and, and um, why do so many... It, where, where do you see that, relatively speaking? And, um, and, and I'm purposely actually not asking the one other question because that's the topic of the next conversation, which is about incrementality and, and how, we, how we truly talk about that. But it gets to that, begins to get to the heart of that problem, right? Um, 
Well, um, I think that um, we... I, I got a blackout. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can. Can you, sorry. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So I think it, it, it's indeed, um, a lot of that is related to kind of the, the next topic and the question of um, um, how do we kind of, uh, what's, what's the absolute contribution of media versus, versus the whole rest? That's why I also struggle always with kind of the, the digital silo and any MTA argumentation that we're having. And that's where we're also trying to help our clients to kind of uh, get into a more incremental and nuanced perspective on what is driven by media and what is driven by everything else, all the other good stuff that uh, the company is doing. Um, so fully subscribe to that, and it needs to be part of the modeling. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> just for, to the first question, baselines are integrated in our models, we just don't show it in the attribution model. Um, and I think that um, we also, I think it's the same with your method, we integrate all those um, different um, impacts which are not only media, so I think of course a lot of um, conversions aren't media driven, but, but I think there are a lot of um, media driven con uh, conversions too. Um, well, thank you very much. I think our time is up for now, but I hope you enjoyed the talk about multi-touch attribution and MMM. So thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks, Mike.